What's up guys, this is going to be the first job tutorial I'll, I've, I'm going to be making. Now, if to, we're going to start off by creating a new Java project. Um, now that we did that, we're going to set the project name to first tut. And uh, by the way, I'm going to be using Eclipse. If you want to download that, I'm probably gonna, I'll put a link into to the download site for that. Most people, I'm going to be showing you some. A lot of people start out without doing GUIs, and it's kind of stupid. Everybody needs to use a GUI to make. If you're going to make your program look professional, you need to use a GUI. To start off, okay. That. We're going to make a new class, so you hit this class button up here, and then you hit, you're going to want to hit this, which this makes it a main method, which basically means that the program is on, the program is going to run this class, and through this class, you can run other classes, but the, when you launch the program, it's on, it's going to run this class. If you don't have a main method, it won't run anything, and we're going to call this one main for right now. And then we're going to create another one. Actually, I guess I'll start out with just this simple command. System dot out dot print line. Hello. Now, how Java works is any string or whatever. Actually, we're going to show you a little variable type. String. equals actually that's probably equals hello we're gonna set so a string is basically just text it's meaningless text that's in quotes so if we type in the string right here system dot out print just prints it into a uh, terminal well into the console right here so if we run this okay it's going to print out hello that's it's simple and if I was to save this out, one sec, let me, okay, let's find the fold, where's my stuff, mods, I got a folder called, I tried to organize my desktop and just five seconds later it got messy again, so, okay, Java, workspace, Um, so if I go into here and I find my first, okay, if I can find it first, oh god, I clicked on the wrong phone. first type, if I go into the, here and I, if I go into here and I open up terminal, you can do the same thing in console if you're on Windows, but if I type in Java and put this, Java basically just runs. Uh, it in terminal since you can't just if I was to click on this it's just gonna say that you, it won't run but if I run this it's not gonna work for some reason maybe I need to CD it CD bin Java main see it's that I had the class and, and it doesn't like having the class extension with it. But it prints out hello. Now you can get more in depth with it. You can add um, scanners into it that lets you type in s stuff so it'll print out hello and then you can print type in back in hello and then it'll say what's up or if if you type hello. Now I'm not gonna get into that. That's that's kind of I don't I'm not gonna use that ever in my opinion. Because why would I make an application that you have to to run in this ter in terminal when I can make it in a legitimate GUI with buttons and stuff, and it won't take that much longer? All right, so back to here. So we're gonna need to make a second dairy class called GUI. Oh, and I need to select this because I wasn't selecting. I didn't have that selected, but um, now in GUI, we're going to type 
I guess I'll just uh, normally I just click on stuff if I need to have it imported here actually I do want to show that so I'm gonna type in extends J frame now what this does is it basically makes this class there are two ways to do this you can s extending something basically means you get all the properties of it you get all the different variables and stuff located in this I mean you can also do something like J frame you could do J if I could type J frame god dang J frame F equals new J frame and then do F dot and do your commands to that but oh, I also forgot to add a parentheses to these J frames but anyway um, that's not what we're gonna do we're gonna next you want to do public GUI because all your commands and what stuff you, you put in the public GUI now you might you can put variable types that you want to be public up here but you're gonna put kind of the heart of the, your, the class in here so what you want to do is you're going to you're actually I, I want to I'm just gonna go into uh, this class and if I type in GUI G equals new GUI G dot set visible true setting visible true you have to declare that it's visible or else it won't run right now it's at the smallest it can possibly be because we didn't set a size to it and we just have this sort of blank window and this basically means you're setting G to this class now if I'm going to let's add a little text file just actually I'll set size if I was to declare it by doing the frame f well j frame f equals new j frame I don't have to do f dot size but since I extended it I can just declare it like this let's set it to 300 by 400 that's probably alright size let's see how it looks now alright we got this little window and if I was to next we can do set background color dot black and as you can see Eclipse is smart enough to go in and import color which is Java AWT dot color now we have this black window and um, I'm, I'm just going to be kind of showing you all the different ways you can mess with this window. I'm not going to be showing you all the buttons and the uh, text file, well, text types and all that stuff, but we can give it an outline, but actually, I don't think we can do... Uh, no, we can't actually do that with uh, this because... So this is pretty much just kind of the basic functions of a frame. You can also, like I could do set, what was it going to do? I don't, I don't really remember, but this will be the basic how to build a simple window. It's, it, this seems like, oh my god, this Java is easy as could be, but it's really not. Also, you're probably going to want to set default close layout to jframe dot exit on close now what this basically says did I spell something wrong? oh not layout operation my bad what this basically does is if if um it makes so when you close this program it when you hit this X mark, it'll close the program. Otherwise, you end up with like 50,000 little um, Java symbols on your dock or whatever. But, alright, thank you all for watching. I'll upload, I'll be uploading the next tutorial very soon.